Hello. As you'll have seen, the EU has now reached agreement on the new renewables directive and the governance rules by which countries will deliver the 32% target for 2030. Yes, 32%. That is the final target. And they agreed also to review it in 2023 to see if it should be higher still. They've also agreed three interim targets. Now, of course, we don't have binding national targets for 2030 like we've had for 2020. So how is the EU going to make sure that countries contribute towards what is a collectively binding target of 32%? Well, every country is now going to have to write a national energy plan in which they detail what new renewables they plan to deploy between now and 2030 and also what they plan to do with their existing renewables that will come to the end of their normal operational life before 2030. Countries are going to have to submit the first draft of these national energy plans to Brussels by the end of 2018 and then after discussions with the European Commission the final versions by the end of 2019. Now there is an agreed formula which defines the fair share national contribution that each country should make towards the collectively binding target of 32%. And the Commission is going to be looking out to see that these national energy plans, each of them, deliver on each country's fair share national contribution. Then, if in the next decade the EU is not on track, for its 2030 target, the Commission will be able to go to those countries that are behind on their national contributions and require them to take measures to get back on track. But this is not just about the targets. The new legislation that's just been agreed also contains a lot of things that are going to make it easier to invest in renewables and so meet the new 32% target. First, every country is going to have to give five years forward visibility of their plans for renewables auctions. When will the auctions take place, the volumes that will be auctioned and the budget supporting this. And the legislation says very clearly countries can do technology specific auctions. Then there are new rules on permitting. Permits for new projects will have to be awarded within three years for new wind farms and within two years for repowered wind farms. And every country should set up a one-stop shop that can issue all of the permits that a project needs. Then it's going to be much harder for countries to make those retroactive changes to policies and support schemes that some of them have made in the past. And there are good new rules on corporate renewable PPAs as well. Countries are going to have to remove regulatory barriers to PPAs and allow projects to combine the revenues they get from their PPA off-taker with revenues they might be getting from an auction. So there are a lot of good things here. But we're not quite finished yet on the EU's clean energy package. We still need to agree the new rules on market design to make electricity markets fit for renewables. The negotiations on this should be completed by the end of this year. So there's still a little bit of work to do. But crucially, we all now have a lot of work to do to make sure countries put the right things in those national energy plans. It's the commitments that countries put in their national energy plans that will actually deliver on the 32%. It's the commitments that countries put in their national energy plans that will define the shape and size of the wind markets in every country in Europe right up until 2030. So we have to get these national energy plans right. Thank you to all of you for all the good work you have done persuading people across Europe that we should go for a 32% target.
Now let's get some ambitious numbers at national level too. Thank you.